Welcome back. And right here, we're uh, just working on the last bit of drywall that I had for the laundry section. I did this quite a while ago, but we're just trying to get you back up to speed to where I'm at in real life. And right there, I'm just kind of hooking up a little bracket uh, piece of wood there so that the uh, future ceiling panels have something to bite into. And there's that drywall. And then we're going to work on putting the hole in the floor for the dryer vent. And we'll explain how I did that here. All right, I can't remember how the the drain or air vent for the dryer was in the original floor plan. For some reason, I was thinking it was over in this corner, or at least I remember there being a hole over there that mice were coming through. So I don't know if that was the dryer vent or not. I mean, there's just not enough room to go through the wall and down because you know bathroom is back there and there's only a two by four thickness. So um, and then the dryer sits, you know, pretty much flush in here so i'm thinking there is a little bit of space in between the dryer and, and washer here so i'm thinking i'll put a little hole here and then have this you know when the dryer is up in the corner this vent will just turn and then go down hopefully that's kosher i don't know we'll find out it's all new to me there's baby just trying to figure out what daddy's doing there and he's grabbing a drill to put a pilot hole in the floor to make sure he can drill the dryer vent there so we're back here where the back door is going to be and the dryer vent we're just seeing where that drill bit came through here's the main runner on this side so we'll peek under here and we're coming up under and the wall is about right there put a circle here and everything will be free and clear and get the vent coming down here so we'll work on that all right i just drilled a bunch of holes around the circle and like really close together so it wasn't you know wasn't pretty and then i uh, took a chisel and kind of or a, a, what i take a jigsaw first and then kind of clean it up until i got close to the wall so i couldn't get around there and then to use the hammer and a chisel to clean it up enough to shove this down there i'll put some spray foam in at some point and we're just clamping a zip tie in there and we'll push it back against the wall and see how it looks and and we'll run the electrical in there, and then I can use my dryer. Whoop, whoop. All right, so we're coming back around here to, I think, where I left you off in the last one, or ish, and um, just working on putting an outdoor receptacle here next to the front door. And you can see the front door there is, you know, turning this way, but the new door is going to turn the opposite way. I guess it doesn't really matter for the outdoor receptacle, but anyway... Um, that's what it's going to end up being and I just put that red tuck tape around it to try to you know seal it off well from the elements so no cold moist air comes ripping in through there when it's you know warmer on the inside and colder on the outside and you saw me take the main power is going to be coming from that you know quadruple box up there and it's going to feed into the outdoor receptacle and then those two receptacles underneath the windows there and we're just putting the vapor retarder up and just cutting out the drywall for this area. You did see me take a pretty good chunk off, but then there's still going to be a gap at the end there between that and where the kitchen is. Uh, just the two by fours didn't match up. It was really close to match up, you know, close to the end of it. But I just had to cut it off to the closest one on the left side and just left a pretty decent sized gap that I will take care of off screen. But yeah, just fitting it in there and just doing the standard old uh, measure and mark and cut, you know, sloppily, but it works. And I didn't put the little section there on the screen, uh, but we did it. And now we're just working on the above there. So that was nice. And then we'll go on over into the hallway section. And I can't forget to put the little lag bolts that go through there into the uh, framing of the house. And I think I did miss one out of all these. You know, I did it before I forgot to and put the drywall up. But I think one over by the hot water heater in my bedroom, I forgot. So I'll just go back and put a, you know, a screw type bolt uh, from the frame up into the house. And yeah, it'll be good enough out of all the ones that I did properly. I think we can be okay with just one. But yeah, it was nice to get this, this, uh, hallway finished with some drywall just makes it a lot lighter in there 
and these pieces were a lot easier to put up than most because I didn't have any uh, electrical receptacles or light switches in this hall so it's just basically cut to size and put them up there instead of having to measure out little squares and rectangles so that was nice and we'll move on from the hallway here all right coming around into the middle bedroom again here we're just doing all the electrical rough in and uh, making sure we put up a high receptacle in this room as well but right there i'm just putting a little two by four bracket in between those two joists because that's where uh, two walls were put up so i just forgot to put the little bracket to tie those two together so ended up putting those there and i noticed at one point we had a little little friendly spider here at least i was hoping he was friendly i was like just trying to coax him out of the way and he was taking his time so i thought okay he's just gonna live there and right when i turned my head he's like all right i'm out and then i thought he expected him to still be there and then you can see the fear on my face i know he's hiding somewhere and he's gonna jump out once i turn my back again and give me some superpowers with a radioactive bite or something but anyway i did find him again and uh let him crawl in between the window and the cracks there to live there for a while but anyway back to working on the electrical here and it's kind of funny because this mom thinks this is going to be her room so she's telling me all the things she's going to put in there and like oh this will be my you know dresser for here my bed here and i'm like wait a second <laughs> this is my house but although she probably will spend the most time in this room you know dad might come up every once in a while but he lives pretty far away so won't be as often as a grandma coming to visit the puppers um, but I have debating um, getting a roommate once you know the house is all finished up um, and either giving them my back room and using this for my bedroom because I'll have the office in the front room there or just renting these two rooms out but that remains to be seen we're at least a year off before I finish this house enough to get a roommate anyway but, you know, I've thought about putting in one of those built-in wall beds that fold up. What do you um, call it? Oh, yeah, a Murphy bed. Uh, I've thought about putting a Murphy bed built in there in the back wall. But uh, we'll worry about that at some other point because it's not like I have any other project going on here. But maybe once I get my wood chops built outside, then I'll have some place to do all the proper cuttings for that. And we'll get one built in. But for now, we'll just put uh, a standard bed in there. But... Anyway, we'll, we'll give you a breakdown here of all the doings on in this room and why I did it. So here you go. All right, I showed you guys the steps I took to put that wire in that wall. I didn't show you this wall, but yeah, I just took the insulation out and this is gonna be the end point for this run of circuits from, or this run of wire and outlets for this circuit. So that's the end one. And there's one here. It's going to come down through the ceiling here. Hit a box that I still have to put up here. All my flooring's in the way here. So I don't know if I'll be able to get to it for a while. But it's going to come down through the ceiling. First box there. And then there'll be a lower one for the out, outer wall. Come along. This is another one for the outer wall. And this is one for the TV outer wall in here. And then there's one on the other side on a little wall there for my router and modem. And then come back through here and again and there. And then this is going to be a separate circuit. Uh, it's going to come down, I believe, over there. Hit the lights for the, that bedroom. I hit an outlet for that bedroom. Come over. Outlet here. Come up. Uh, and the fan and the lights for the bathroom uh, outlet for here for a TV that's going to go here and then go around and end with the GFCI for the bathroom. I think technically uh, up to modern code, I think the bathroom GFCI has to be on its own circuit. But this is an old house, so I'm not worried about it. Um, it's still going to be, you know, GFCI. So it, it wasn't one when I got this house, so at least it's an upgrade. Uh, this is the box for the uh, heater. There's going to be a wall heater put right here. So that's going to be a separate circuit that's going to come down from the ceiling there. Uh, but yeah, so a little thermostat there. I don't think I'm going to put the box in until after I put up the drywall. That's how it worked out for the master bedroom. So we'll see how that goes there. 
but now I gotta anchor in some bolts to go, some lag bolts that go into the floor joists uh, there, just on this wall. I don't gotta worry about it on this one, but the, not the kitchen wall, but the bathroom between the bathroom and the master bedroom. I'm gonna put some leg bolts in there uh, for lateral stability on the house. At least that's how the design was when I got it. I also put these little boards here. So when the drywall meets up here, the drywall that comes this way is gonna have something to bite into on this wall. So there's plenty of two by fours for that section. I think I have to put one on that wall there and maybe in the corner of the closet on both sides maybe we'll see when i get to those but, and then maybe some cross braces here for when i put the door way in there so anyway that's what we're working on in this middle bedroom for now and we ran out of drywall so we'll just uh get this prepped and we'll leave you off here but i'll give you a little breakdown of some of the things that's been going on with me and here was the big cherry tree there that i didn't feel i could cut because i wanted to go on my neighbor's house so i hired that guy to come do it then i went and visited my neighbor up the road and she breeds these vizsla dogs and so i had to get some puppy loving and oh man it was so fun and they're funny because they're pooped out after about 10 minutes of doing this and they got to take little naps. <laughs> so that was fun, but we can't forget our our little baby. So she's sanding herself, and then we can't forget the new girl. And she had a new visitor. That's Bailey, the big chunk, came up from the neighbor's house to come visit us. And then I did take baby to my new job, and we hung out there on one of the days while I was working when nobody was there. So anyway, hope it was fun. We'll see you on the next one. Take care.